Happy 420! Previously on Kimba TV. Could be diarrhea time. Could be diarrhea time. Is it diarrhea time? Chances are you know I'm gonna do a nice little giveaway tomorrow, so... Bro, like, if we're gonna do this bullshit again, I don't know. You know what I mean? I'd rather, I rather get out. I think I gave it enough chances. And difference between here is that you had POC helping. The POC for this is down here. Superman says CME gap nearly got filled. Snap diddly. It's probably gonna get filled, I would assume. Spice, I went through a good win rate for the last two months and high RRs, but yesterday I risked too much. Now they'll hurt. Well, I mean, I think you, um, I think you nailed it, right? You, uh, you risked too much, Madi. So um, it just takes time to understand that every trade should be like a blackjack hand. Yeah, I mean, I probably lost like. Here, you want to see? I'll show you. Um, how do I turn this avatar? Um, I mean, look how much I lost yesterday. I probably lost like 60 grand. Look. But look. Okay, I lost 60 grand, but what's 60 grand out of 1.6 mil? What's, I lost 60 grand, but I have 1.6 in my bank. So you got to be proportionate, brother. Is it a sweep? Question mark. Sweep, 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 sweep. You know, I, I, I don't know about these sweeps, bro. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put in a little thank thing. I'll do a little, I'll, I'll take a little uh, thank thing because it would be, um, I'll put a little thank thing at Golden Pocket Stop Loss at 86. I'll pair, I'll put it in right now. But um, in my opinion, I'll pair, we probably have a little bit more to go, I think. So here, here's where we are in the four hour. It, it's pixel perfect, so I'll take it, I'll try it, but I think it's a one more level down maybe. One more level down. Um, do you remember like the shit that we did here to figure out that might be top and that might be a good short? Um, it's gonna happen here. So we might go down one more to 27, to be honest with you, and then, yeah. But um, I think we still have room to maybe go a little bit lower. You know what I'm going to do, LPZ? I don't really know what the hell is going on with uh, Spy, right? I'm going to let today and tomorrow and just kind of let it do its thing thing. And if you remember, this week, all I'm using this week is, is as a, it's a practice for next week, right? For GDP and PCE. So, you know, I'll take shots here and there and shit like that, but my, my real thing is trying to get into a position on Wednesday, by Wednesday, um, next week. So as long as I'm in a position going into GDP, I'm okay. Um, and that's really my only goal for the next couple of days. Um, maybe, you know, so I'll, I'll take a little thing thing here, but I actually think there's a little prob higher probability of, coming all the way down here yeah but that's awesome though pixel perfect um the last thing that we talked about yesterday on stream was i wouldn't long until here or here and so lo and behold it was pixel perfect on poc My, the most important thing for me out there is very similar to how we played the last couple gdps if you remember i just want to be in a position come like right around by wednesday and, and then if I'm wrong, I'm going to let GDP and PCE stop me out. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, um, like, it's worth, like, this is one of those things where you're not going to go all in, right? You know what I mean? Like, there, there's no edge, there's no thangity thang thang, gamma really isn't helping you, S&P really isn't helping you. Um, so, you could be trying to say, okay, the difference between this one and all the other sweeps is that we have point of control um, lining up. You know, so at least if you're going to take this, it would be a small position. You clearly realize, like, this is no better than a 50-50. Because what edge you have? So, like, you have maybe some sort of weird div that might form on 15 or 1 hour. You have POC. 
and it could be a swing fail. So swing fail, you're going to front run. You're going to front run the swing fail. So maybe that's like, I don't know, 0.5% edge. Um, you're going, you got POC. Okay, so maybe that's like another 0.1% because that's not, it's a naked um, and maybe you have like a 15 or five minute, like smaller time frame div, you know, and that maybe gives you another 0.1 edge. So you're really looking at like a 50, 50 turning into like 50.7 this. So based off of that, you know, you're going to probably do, you know, something like a quarter or maybe a third of what you normally do or something like that in terms of position size, considering how risky it is and uh, the chances of success. You know, all, none of these sweeps worked. So you could still try to do that, put stop loss 8886, but based off of all that quantification and your edge, it's probably a super small position, right? Yeah, um, what I would probably be looking for is to kind of bleed in here. Something like that. And obviously, this is when you would know that it's going back down. You want that car? Yeah, this is a street sweeper. It's just been picking up the tiers of retail all fucking day. Beep. Sweeping up the retail. Sweeping up the retail. My dumb ass got stopped out multiple times. It's all good, baby. Beep, 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 beep. You know? God damn it. Um, so what do you what are we uh, gonna do here, man? Debating play playing a little Ethereum. Uh, I guess I'll take it. Like, see if it's going to be a swing fail of that uh, POC. Should I wait for a div? Should I wait for the div to play out and then get in on the golden pocket retrace? I really don't know if I should take this. I guess we'll take another stab at it. I'm just so fucking tired of these. I uh, uh, guess I'll take it, right? Uh, do I want to take it? I guess I will. Uh, yeah, so... There's a couple of ways that you people could be anticipating the the uh, the next POC, right? And this isn't financial advice. And if you if you're in a Gucci ass short, don't even listen to what I'm about to say, okay? Um, if you're somebody that wants to maybe think about a scalp long, and these two blue lines as we talked about earlier, these are scalp attempts. They're not, it's not like a home run type of thing. So if you do still want to try to take an attempt, then really the two seven nine, the two seven eight eight for that POC that we've had is really last area um obviously it's not going to be as easy so it's going to leak a little bit and when we did like that bear flag stuff and fifth grade ta stuff even looking at high block you can see that it's going to bleed past 885 right so for it to maintain the 885 level but you're going to uh, go through it you're talking about a 5 15 minute bull div that's going to happen or it's going to be a sweep so both of those things, if you do want to long it, the safest thing will be to wait, let it happen, and then get in on like the golden pocket or the 382, you know, especially with all the market sweepers out, you know, waiting for it to confirm and then getting in on the higher high or structure change is obviously your best bet. Um, I haven't been doing that and I've just been getting spanked. So to each their own, but that's only if you still want to take us long, because if you if this um, 27885 does not hold as support, it's we're unfortunately we're hitting 27 like like high 26s, and that's just the math. Um, there's really no support uh, in between 279 and 269. So if you lose this 28, basically, if you lose 28, then you're going to see high 26s, I think. That's what most of this TA stuff is, is trying to figure out mass psychology and how many people would take that edge with you. 
you know, and all it is is just if it's, if the culmination of all the different people, the Fibonacci players, the Bear Div players, the uh, POC players, if all those people line up, if all those people culminate to be able to out win, uh, you know, out um, sell or out buy, then the the that's the probability play out. So um, if you have enough, it might bounce, but you know, if you just kind of take a look at the four hour, I think the, you know you can notice that yeah, that's a, there's like poke. It's like five ninety nine maybe, or five fifty. I see your five fifty two, but um, yeah, like that four hundred three ninety is probably uh, better. Yeah, I have mine all the way down at two six eight ninety though. Yeah, why sec? Were you here earlier when we were talking about like that sweep of that would be hella funny? I actually put this here. What color should we make it? Maybe green, just for shits and giggles. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. So this is an interesting zone right here. How big is that? Oh, it's an $800 price range. Should we do one, two, three, four through this big ass $800 price range and just say snap diddly? Oh my God, that's interesting. We'll keep an eye on that. You guys saw that? So, I mean, just from volume, uh, orange is, I think this is a daily. So you've got a daily, you've got a, a strong POC, a very, very strong POC, and um, a sweep and a, a big uh, Fibonacci all kind of lining up. So we'll keep an eye on that. Yeah. So, you know, in the meantime, um, you know, even before that, we knew that this is where we would, you know, try to take the long seriously. These levels are just kind of like scalps and small to mid size, right? So if there's an edge, these are valid levels to try to take the edge at, you know, and hopefully if you're patient enough and wait for enough edges, even if you're wrong, you get stopped out and break even or tiny loss. Yeah, we'll see uh, how uh, I'm going to do that. I kind of feel silly, but I guess I'm trying to be objective. I'll still take a shot at it, I guess. It's going to be a tight stop anyway, so. Yeah, but that box down here is very, very interesting. I hope ETH shits harder than Bitcoin soon. Or um, correlation is off. I don't know if I can long. And if you're in a short, then I, the, the really, the, um, the biggest thing is, um, I think alts are going to come down here, especially Adam and Adam and Dot. And I did a lot of homework on these fuckers. And so, um, yeah, so that would, uh, like we talked about early in the morning, would con uh, confluate a little bit more to levels here, right? I, so here, I don't know if you guys saw that, but there was a lot of confluence here. Lots of confluence here. Lots of confluence here. Um... You know, and I could see that that could be this box for Dot and that could be this box for Adam. That would be fantastic. Um, right now we have our hands full with this bullshit right here. So, well, ladies and gentlemen, after six hours of waiting, we will we might get one more thangity thang thang. All right. Will it end up being a kiss on the cheek or will it being a uh, slap in the face? All right. Perfect. 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 Y'all ready? I'm gonna. I'm trying to kick it until the end of the hourly, but just as, like a, if we um, if we don't get filled or whatever by the uh, by the end of the stream, does everybody know? I think we're good for the most part. How many of you guys are going like the hyper aggressive route, and how many of you guys are gonna actually wait for the golden pocket pullback after confirmation of the div? Ultra mega aggressive. <laughs> Uh, shout outs to you, Kavira. You stay safe, all right? If you really want to go degen, why not take a shot on a day like uh, like next week on Thursday and Friday on P GDP PCE when the volatility is for sure, for sure? But um, you stay safe now. Tranquilo says, man, I, I we literally just said who's going to be hyper aggressive. There's no div here. There's no div here, right? We, we just, I just asked you guys, who's going to just say fuck it and blindly enter? And then, so here's the other thing too. Not only is this the thing, you also have a div. So there's a couple of ways. If this is a sweep, 
then what? You wouldn't lose this. So if your main thesis is, hey, man, this is a sweep, then you'd be more prone to play this. If you're waiting for something like the POC to get hit versus a golden pocket to get hit, then you might be waiting for here, or you might be waiting for a div on the POC. This would be blindly limit entering right here is the most aggressive out of all the choices that you have that and we talked about. So that's why we were saying who's going to be hyper aggressive. This would be the most aggressive you could be. You have no edge. There's no volume. You're literally taking the swing high, swing low, golden pocket. So you've got the lowest time frame, lowest swing high, swing low, um, and uh, lowest tier, uh, which is mathematics. All righty. So who knows? That's the most aggressive. Um, you're not guaranteed to have a reaction like that. Okay. It's not going to work out like that for you every single time. So that's your first thangity thang thing. Stop loss. Somebody might be doing this. Somebody might be doing that. If it came back down like that, and th this would have been fine. Take a look at this volume. Take a look at this volume. Take a look at this volume. I don't know about this. Um, so if you like, if you did blindly enter there, then you're already having to do this. And if you want to maximize profits, your stop loss starts between 382 and 05. If you think you got the perfect entry, your stop loss is behind 786 and 886, which would basically equate to a round trip. That's still possible right now, too. What if this comes all the way back, but the RSI is a little bit upper trending? This would have been the most hyper aggressive, right? The second uh, would have been to just do this but start entering as it and front run the bull div um the next uh the next aggressive would be to blindly put limits right here and then the next uh aggressive would be to have it hit make sure that whatever this is is a 15 minute or one hour bull div let it do its thangity thang thang do a local swing high, swing low, and then take it at the golden pocket stop loss behind the 886 golden pocket like that on this guy. Holy fuck, is that perfect or what? Oh my God, Kimba Box. Kimba Box, it's already there for you guys. You know, that doesn't um, include any, like, EMAs. It certainly doesn't include any confluence with S&P. Like I was saying, if I was, I was going to think about doing a long on S&P, especially if it started to come back here again. Um, if I, I was going to, I pussied out, but I was going to try to see if, uh, see if I could take a shot on a long and maybe if we can get above 41.40 or 41.50 tomorrow. So I would love for this to come back like that. Uh, T-Dub says, that's what I'm hoping slash waiting for. One thing's for sure. Um, yeah, you know, we might get left behind. Maybe this is the time where they leave all of us behind. But just based off of what we've seen, you know, I think it's all right to be uh, more patient and wait to have an edge like worst case scenario if this um let's say that this is green dildos um you you're still going to have some sort of like swing high swing low um you're still going to have some sort of bullish retest on the poc um this is resistance so theoretically at some point it should get turned into support so if you're really that bullish you know you can always wait for the pullback and then try to get back in turning this into support. Um, even then, you would immediately run into value area resistance too. And this is the kind of chart that we talked about. The value area low, value area high. So if the 28,000 zone or whatever is going to be held, and then you also have to watch out for that too. So you have multiple things that you have to watch out for. Um, it, whether you're scalping a long or you want to get into a short, you've got multiple areas coming up. I, I'm not 100% convinced that um, it's not coming here. Um, I, I think this. I think we're grabbing this. So 
Um, like we said, I think this, whatever long you're in, it's a scalp, uh, it's a scalp. Like, uh, you know, taking any sort of long because I think that Adam and Doc can go way lower and I expect uh, altcoins to go lower. It doesn't mean that it can't bounce to go back up a little bit and then nuke down, but I'm pretty confident about my boxes to the low side on Adam and Dot. And then um, you, did you also hear my reservations about how the correlation with, with ETH is a little bit off? I need ETH to go down to like 1890. I basically need it to go sub 1900. It doesn't need to shit itself, but like, um, I don't even know what the daily level is, but like 1890 or something like that is a pretty important level. So 1890 ETH bounce, Bitcoin bounce here would be nice, but right now that confluence a little bit, eh. So maybe that in and of itself kind of tells me, let it maybe do this, let ETH shit itself. Maybe on this, ETH is also at 1890. If it's not a swing fail, right? Like it doesn't immediately do some weird shit like that. If it doesn't do shit like that, then I'm still going to be waiting for some sort of div, you know, 15 minute, one hour. I will probably try to front run it only because I know that this is the last chance for a long. And if this doesn't work, we're going down here. So I might as well go out with a bang. So I'll prob, I'm not going to front run a sweep. I'm going to front run a div Preferably, it's a one hour that I'm going to be front running. 15, I'll probably do it smaller. So that might be the difference between you guys seeing me with a 40 Bitcoin long versus with like a 60, 70, or 80. And um, uh, it's a scalp. It's not like a home run. And if that doesn't hold, the 28,000 doesn't hold, then we're going to be looking for the Kimba box down here. And, and um, secretly, um, I mean, I don't want to get stopped out and take an, uh, like lose money, but secretly, I'm excited for this area to come because... Um, I'm anticipating Adam and Dot to go a little bit lower as well. And that has pretty good confluence in that area. All righty. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, to, this week was a in, very weird uh, thing thing. All right, you guys, volatility incoming. I swear, if they go immediately to that POC while I'm at the gym... Oh, man, please don't do anything crazy like that. Ladies and gentlemen, longs or shorts, I'm rooting for each and every one of you guys. All right, stay safe. We got, uh, we got Friday tomorrow, so I still need your guys' best. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. That being said, next week is going to be GDP, PCE, monthly expirations, weekly expirations. So we'll see what happens. I don't think we're going to take it too seriously, but uh, it is Friday, so... I'll see you guys all bright and early tomorrow. I'm going to have my iced coffee, my strawberry cream cheese bagel, all right? Love you guys. Have a great night, everybody. Listen up, you. Oh, it's the truth I speak. Kimbit is my name. Trading is my game. Bitcoin is my focus. Charge all my guide. Profit is my goal, so I never step aside. It is just mathematics of pure trading tactics. Fibonacci is my main golden ratio on my mind. You got to respect the trend or you'll be left behind. I'm